Hello everyone, welcome back to another session by K21 Academy. Today our expert trainer will be talking about DSC that is desired state configuration. So let's get into the video. Okay guys, desired state configuration is nothing but basically if you want to push any particular PowerShell script on a particular resource. So for an example, if I go into the desired state configuration at the moment, right in the DSC, it will give you the information associated with all the nodes over here. So what you can do, let's suppose I'm going into the desired state configuration at the moment. You can see, right? I mean, these are the nodes option available. So any of the machine that you are trying to manage through the automation account, you can push any sort of the script associated with that. So for that particular requirement, let's say I would like to install IS services, right? So you can connect your VM over here. Let's say my VM2 is showing up so I can connect my VM2. So what it will do, it will deploy an agent on this particular machine and you can select how frequently you would like to run this particular script on the machine and you have continue configuration, stopping the configuration option, right? So this will help you connecting your resources associated with your desired state configuration. So this will take a few seconds. This machine will start showing up over here. Once this will be showing up, it will check whether the machine is compliant or not. If it is compliant, it will be showing one. If you will be pushing any script, it will show pending and then while script is getting installed, or that resource agent is getting installed it will show you in progress if it is getting failed over here you will see that information if your machine is shut down it's not responsive in nature it will show un unresponsive there can be the problem with the agent and non-compliant resources let's say the machine is not falling under the policy that it's supposed to be right so all this information will be available over here and what all the script that you would like to run on these resources you can bring that particular information through the configuration option okay so these are some things guys that you will be able to do in case if you like to execute guys as you can see this is one of the script that we have and this is for the is installation for an example right and let's say you would like to push any sort of the script associated with it you will be able to do that so let's say i'm going for the is installation over here that is a small script that i have to install the is so this is something that you can use to install the windows feature through the desired state configuration so what you can do you can upload that particular script over here you can give the name and you can compile the script and you can push it now guys usually these kind of the things we will be uh, you know implementing when we will be using your azure devops where you may want to use infrastructure as a code over here so that is that particular information guys as you can see this machine is now connected showing this is compliant over here compliant etc shows one you would like to include this particular script over here do the compilation check and get this configured over here so when the script is compliant, you can push this particular script and you can do the IS installation on the required node through the automation account. Now this we are seeing on one machine. You can do it on 100 machine with the help of your automation account over here. I hope it makes sense. So guys, I hope you really liked our session. And if you have any kinds of doubts, you can please comment down below and our team will reach out to you. And do not forget to give us a thumbs up. And if you are really intrigued by the kind of terms used and you want to learn more about it, then we have something really, really special for you. We have this free class on Microsoft Azure Solutions Architect certification that is AZ305. And if you want to learn more about it, then you just have to log on to k21academy.com forward slash Azure SA02. In this session, in this free class, you'll be learning about why you should be learning Azure Cloud, your paths to learn Azure Solution Architect Expert Certification. You'll be getting to know the difference between AZ303, AZ304, AZ305, and a lot many insightful things. So if you want to do this, then all you have to do is just log on to k21academy.com forward slash Azure SA02. After that, you'll be seeing this kind of interface. Just click on book your free seat now and select your availability according to the event date mentioned. Add your name, add your phone number, add your email, and every detail will be conversed to you via our mail. And after that, just proceed ahead. On the extreme light, you'll be seeing this kind of link. So just copy this link, save it to your calendars, and I will see you in the next class. Till then, take care and keep hustling.